Hey yo, bless up, this is DJ Khaled, and um, this is why I vote. It's a number game, you know what I mean? And, and every vote count. And that's the problem, because we think that our one vote might not count. Imagine trillions of people feeling the way that one vote don't count, but millions and billions and trillions of votes are not counting because there's a lot of people that think like that. You know what I mean? Each vote counts, straight up, vote. Hey, I'm Mike Shinoda, and this is why I vote. Maybe I'm a total optimist, but I do believe that every vote matters and that even if you think that it's unlikely that your voice will be heard or you've had a lot of experiences in your life where you've been marginalized or, or forgotten, um, voting is one of those ways to change that. It's one of those ways to actually make your voice heard. I remember being a young kid and finding out what a dictatorship was, what a monarchy was, and realizing that we were so lucky to have a system where we had a say, that we could vote on things that mattered to us and vote for people that we thought represented our point of view in the world. And I know that sometimes these days, it's easy to be cynical and it's easy to feel like people aren't listening. But the truth is if you don't vote, you certainly aren't gonna be heard. So the better option is to vote and put your opinion out there. Hey, my name is Leslie Grace, and this is why I vote. Our vote does matter. Even if you live in a state that is a quote-unquote lock, that state can only remain a quote-unquote lock if the people of that state continue to vote in the same manner. So if on any given election, the people of that state say, hey, we haven't been reflected in our government, then a large group of people can vote differently than they did in elections in the past and change the outcome of that state. I think also something that we should really remember that we're not informed of as much as we are informed about who we're voting for president is that we're voting for state officials on that same ballot. State officials that make changes in our community that are pertinent to us. And so sometimes we think, man, whoever's in the White House is so far away from me, has nothing to do with what I'm dealing with in my community. but. A lot of us don't know that we're not only voting for who's gonna be in the White House on that ballot, we're also voting for our sheriff, our mayor, our governor, our senators. So I think we need to remember the importance of all of those votes as well. And if we knew, if more of us knew that that's also what we're voting on on that same ballot, a lot of us, I feel, would be more empowered about how much our vote matters. Hi, this is Daniel Gleason from Group Love, and this is why I vote. 2008 was really the first time that I was engaged in the election process in the primaries. It's the first time I was able to vote. And considering, you know, as a young man and considering what kind of world I was hoping to live in and, and what my place in it was going to be and the types of things that I was working towards. And in that moment, Obama really inspired me to get more actively engaged. Maybe that was his history of um, being a community organizer. But the types of issues he was talking about, equality and you know access to health care, um, it just it spoke to me and, and still does. And you know a lot of those fights continue to this day, and some of them more so than ever as a result of the last four years. But it was a, mo a moment of a lot of hope. I remember when he finally did get elected, driving down Boulevard in Atlanta, and people were shooting off fireworks and spilling into the streets and dancing, and it felt like the country had broke through something and that it wasn't the end of a struggle but it was a to that point um a high water mark and a moment that felt extremely hopeful and inspiring what's the deal y'all it's your girl day sulan and this is why i vote your vote does matter it's always great to practice your ability to vote because at one point women weren't able to vote um, people were actually dying to get their vote across, you know, so it's always good to take that into consideration that us as the people at one point didn't even have this um, opportunity to do that. So it is for sure important to go out and vote. Hi, my name is Nick Bachrath from KG Elephant, and this is why I vote. 
I vote because my vote matters, and I vote because your vote matters. It's not only our privilege, but our duty to ourselves and our country to be accurately and fairly represented. But it can only fairly work for all of us if all of us do our part. People have gone through extreme trials and real efforts to ensure equal voting rights for all Americans. And this is the fundamental bare minimum as an American citizen to exercise this right. The voting process is extremely easy and always leaves me with a positive feeling and faith in my community. So get out and vote. There's literally no excuses, and I promise you, you'll be glad you did. Hey, this is Charity Rose from The Head and the Heart, and this is why I vote. I'm always curious as to the why. It can be a fairly natural mode of thinking that my single vote doesn't count or my electorate is predetermined. But that allows us individuals to consciously or unconsciously give up our own power and in turn allows us to have a settling mindset. I know it can be quite exhausting being actively engaged in community politics, but future generations depend on the choices that each of us make in the present. And to be hopeful is to consider best case scenarios for our future. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.